Typing on a phone or a laptop is great, but there's something special about writing or sketching on a real piece of paper. Do you feel like you need to write, doodle, sketch, scribble, scratch out, and just mess around with a pen and a paper, but struggling to make it a daily thing? Maybe you need a special pen or a pencil that you love using so that you can pour your creativity down on paper with more enthusiasm. If that sounds like you, then this video is for you. We'll go through pens and pencils that I use daily and that are so special to me that I keep using them even though my creativity is blocked. Of course, there is virtually no difference between writing using a random pen or pencil and writing using a special pen or pencil that you love in terms of what you create. But sometimes having the right gear, gear that you love using and feel emotionally attached to can speed up the process of working out your creativity muscles. Honestly, I used to be afraid of touching pen on paper, like literally afraid. Same goes for making notes. I would first want to be sure of what words to write down before I touched that pencil or pen down on paper. But of course, creativity doesn't work that way. You have to mess around, make mistakes, pour your brain down on paper to actually create something authentic, something that feels like you. While learning to touch pencil down on paper, one thing helped me more than others. Find a pencil, not a pen that I love, so it will be okay to make mistakes. Worst case scenario, I could just erase my mistakes if they pain me, so that I could just keep on creating. Proud to say, I did come over my fear of note taking and sketching. I now not only sketch, but also make animations. And above all of this, I enjoy the process. This video is not sponsored at all. These pens and pencils are genuinely my favorites. Let's dive in. Graph fun, graph fun Faber. Graph fun Faber Castell. It is pronounced as Faber Castell. Graph fun Faber Castell perfect pencil. At first, it seemed a bit odd to have this fancy cap on a simple pencil, but the more I used this, the more I got convinced it's brilliant. First, there is this hidden pencil sharpener in here, which has the pointiest sharpening angle, which makes writing so satisfying. Second, this cap looks so chic in a meeting that it doesn't feel as if I'm a first grader when I'm taking notes in front of another adult. Third, the option to add an eraser. The eraser holders and erasers are sold separately, so whenever I need a new one, I can just order them. For some reason, built-in erasers give me anxiety. I can't use them liberally with the fear of running out of them, and this fixes it. Lastly, the writing. Oh, it's so smooth. I use a B, and mine feels perfect for note-taking. Next up, we have Caran d'Ache Ballpoint Pen 849. Yes, it's 10x the price of a cheap regular pen, but the writing experience changes forever. The grip is nice and stable thanks to the angular casing. It has the perfect weight. The metal casing makes it unique in weight, which makes it feel so different than writing with a plastic pen. Plus, it lasts forever. You can literally just replace the cartridge whenever you need so that you don't need to throw away the whole pen when it dries out so it's better for the environment too. Next, we have Monami 153 Ballpoint Pen DIY Kit. We actually discovered these on our trip to Korea three years ago or so. My husband and I, we made ourselves a pen each and we assembled a few to give out as gifts too. They're so much fun to assemble. It's like building with Legos. You can try all sorts of color combinations, both with the casing, and the cartridge, so you can make unique pens. As per the writing experience, it's not as unique and special as Karandash. It's obviously lighter in weight, but the fact that you create your own pen harnesses your creativity in a unique way. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just starting out on this channel, but I'll be making a lot of videos for creative entrepreneurs. So like and subscribe if you can, and I'll see you next time.